Hello, ra hello, radio fans. This is uh, Bob and One KPR. And today we're going to do a little quick uh, walkthrough on our uh, emergency alert system message transfer um, controller. I guess. Uh, very basically, what this is is uh, the single rack unit here that uh, will sense and detect the uh, NWS or NOAA uh, emergency alert tones and uh, control an electronic relay to send the message uh, out to uh, the local area hams or whoever are in receiving distance of this uh, this particular transmitter. Um, the reason for that is not everybody listens to their uh, National Weather Service service uh, weather radio at home, but a lot of hands do monitor certain uh, two meter and 440 channels and so on in their cars and at home. And uh, by tuning in to the uh, the basic talk-in frequency that we use at our club, uh, anybody monitoring it will hear this automated message and. Uh, be able to tune to the uh, to their weather channel, uh, television or uh, VHF or AM FM uh, home radios uh, on the broadcast band and hear the uh, message if they're so inclined. Uh, this module will also listen to the channel that we're transmitting on, and uh, to avoid uh, interference, will listen for audio for uh, 7 to 10 seconds before it does transmit. That way there's no uh, interference call with the QSO uh, already in progress. There are three uh, uh, frequency selective switches that will be indicated by these LEDs whenever those tones are decoded. Uh, the reason that there's three is we want to make sure we don't get any false triggering. So uh, all three have to be activated uh, for the message to come through. We also are able to defeat the audio. You can see these lights flashing. They're defeated audio and push to talk for the sending transmitter. Uh, input level, a voice or data versus carrier. I don't know how we can, if we can see that yellow and green. Green is data. Input level for the monitoring station that we're on. That's listening for the NOAA signal. Uh, the message level, uh, overall gain, and a little VU meter to set it up. So let's see. Uh, we're in test mode now. You can see this one's blinking. Uh, let's test the message. We get to the midterm elections. The well, I guess we need some audio. N1 KPR weather message to follow. Now I hope that came out over the uh, over this mic set up here. Uh, also, if we choose to, we can walk in any time and make sure the station that we're monitoring is still on the air or that we're receiving them, and that's on the input control here. Right. I mean, the leadership of the houses are going to get. There's a local talk station. Isn't and notice that uh, able to get past this even when this is off. We know something's going on because we have data, and we have a, a carrier. When the data is not there, it just shows empty, empty carrier. These lights over here are the drive level for the input filters. They're uh, uh, the frequency selective uh, switches. Uh, they're tone decoders, as they're commonly called, I guess. But we can't overdrive them because then you get false triggering. So we have to set that level up. Red being clipping, yellow nominal, and green is kind of a min average amount. We'll try it again. Let's see if we can uh, uh, see if we can hear the uh, pre-recorded message that'll trigger whenever a NOAA tone is detected by this controller. Here we go. N1 KPR weather message to follow. Okay. Well, that's basically it. We go back to the broadcast station. If you're at the club and you're bored, you're not worried about a hurricane or anything, you could always listen to the news and weather.
crime. This, this department. So, there you go. Anyhow, uh, this is also shown on my website, Bob's America, one word, bobsamerica.com. And, of course, there's a lot of other uh, nifty little uh, videos on this uh, In One KPR channel here on YouTube. So uh, thanks for watching.